Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS from 6.0 to 5.1.1. A few things you'll need to keep in mind. You'll need your SHSH blobs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just make sure you've previously jailbroken on 5.1.1. If you have not and you don't know what I'm talking about, then this won't work for you. But if you have jailbroken on 5.1.1, this should work fine. So you're going to need Red Snow, uh, link in the description to download this and you're going to hit extras and then you're going to hit SHSH blobs then you're going to hit stitch then you're going to hit your IPSW you're going to find your IPSW for your device on 5.1.1 this needs to be for your device uh, link in the description to, to help you get that and then you're just going to hit open and then you're going to hit remote unless for some reason you have the file on your computer which you probably won't so you're going to hit remote and then you're just going to wait for this process to finish it could take a few minutes and you can see now it says blob stitching done, so you can just hit OK. Next thing you're going to need to do is hit back, and then you're going to have to hit Pwn DFU. So you're going to need to turn off your device, which we'll be doing right now. Turn it off, and then you're going to follow the steps to go into Pwn DFU mode as soon as your device is off. So just hit Next. So follow these steps, both buttons, and then you're going to let go of the top button without letting go of the bottom button. This is just a simple DFU mode which is going to get enhanced by Red Snow to turn it into Pwn DFU mode. And it should be exploiting it. That's why it only works with these devices because it needs to be exploitable with Slime Rain. And you can see now we're in Pwn DFU mode. So as soon as we can get our mouse <laughs> we can uh, close Red Snow for now and what you're going to do is open iTunes so there we go and you should get this message right here uh, you should also notice a firmware file where your previous one was with a number in front of it that's the custom one which was stitched with our SHSH blobs and basically what that means is this one has special keys to work with this device and you're gonna hold down alt on your computer if you're on a Mac or shift if you're on a PC while hitting restore which should pop up this window right here and then you're gonna go to desktop make sure to click the one that starts with a number instead of the one that starts with uh, iPod or iPhone and then you're gonna hit open and we're just gonna let this go through and then it should restore and now you can see we're on 5.1.1 and everything has worked perfectly iTunes through no errors make sure you go into Pwn DFU mode and you haven't messed with your uh, host file you might have to reset your host file that causes another error but anyways thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll see you guys later